So I devised a method that functions properly and abides by the policy. Deadly Trade supports both Kakao and GGG, Grinding Gear Games client, and it works regardless of the language settings. This version is optimized to 1920 1080 resolution windowed full screen mode. Upon executing the program, it checks for available updates and imports currency data from PoE Ninja. Upcoming updates will be done automatically if there are no critical errors. And to get rid of the difficulties regarding the PoE directory, I implemented an automatic directory detection whenever the game is running. When the add-on detects a running game, click Start button to initiate it. By double-clicking, you can collapse or expand the main window, and you can move it freely. There is a button that leads to your hideout. A Purnish flasks are buttons that toggles flask timer. There is no need to configure your customized flask hotkeys as the add-on automatically detects the user's settings. Whatever the language may be, Deadly Trade can help specify item from a trade whisper. First, configure the location of your stash by matching it with the grid. There are plans for additional function updates. The special case is when a Kakao client user whispers. In that case, we cannot use a notification panel to automatically specify the item due to the previously mentioned policy. In this case, you can click on the magnifying glass button and enter the coordinates to manually find the item. On the notification panel, there are utility buttons that can be used to invite the player, send a trade request, and send messages like, thanks for trading, wait please, sold already, etc. When you double-click on the currency icon, a simple currency calculator appears. If you are using Kakao Client, information of the item you want to buy would appear on the notification panel, which was impossible after the June update. The special case is when a Kakao client user whispers. In that case, we cannot use a notification panel to automatically specify the item due to the previously mentioned policy. 
In this case, you can click on the magnifying glass button and enter the coordinates to manually find the item. You can configure the color and the duration of the flash timer in your settings. You can toggle them anytime you want and they will be instantly applied. And you can move them wherever you want. You can check real-time currency values imported from POE Ninja, depending on your selected league. There is a simple currency calculator which could come in handy. There are information overlays for Immortal Syndicate, Alva Incursions, and Shaper Orb Recommendation Remaining Monsters Count.
special thanks to Passive Exile add-on developers of Mercury Trade, Trade Macro, Poe Compass, Lab Compass, Trade for Poe, Currency Comp, and Exilence, etc. It inspired me a lot to make this add-on, and also special thanks to Korean community contributors. Development of this program was entirely on my own and started empty-handed. But without the inspirations given by previously mentioned programs, it wouldn't have been here. So I'd like to thank them again for all their inspirations.